A summer job at a horse farm near his home in Carrollton, Ohio, put 12-year-old Eddie Maple on a path toward the Hall of Fame. When he retired from a very successful career as a jockey in 1998, Maple had 4,398 wins, over 105 million in purse money, and a long list of victories in major stakes races. Maple began riding in West Virginia and picked up his first victory at Ascot Park in Ohio in 1965. He also rode in Maryland before moving to the Florida and New Jersey circuits in 1970. Two years later, he relocated to New York, where he became an important player, securing multiple wins in famous races and winning riding titles at Saratoga and Aqueduct. Along the way, Maple competed at a number of tracks like Ascot Park and Hialeah that are no longer in operation. He rode Secretariat in the Great Horse's final race, winning the Canadian International at Woodbine. In New York, Maple rode regularly for Hall of Fame trainer Woody Stevens, for whom he won the 1985 Belmont Stakes on Creme Fraiche, and won juvenile championships with Devil's Bag and 49er. In 1980, Temperance Hill carried Maple to wins in the Belmont, Travers, and Jockey Club Gold Cup. He won a second consecutive Travers in 1981, this time on Willow Hour. Maple scored three upset victories over the great Forgo, once in the Met Mile and twice in the Suburban Handicap. He also won the Saranac a remarkable seven times and also had three or more wins in the Metropolitan Handicap, Futurity, Hempstead, Carter, Rimson, and Dwyer. He won the George Wolfe Memorial Jockey Award in 1995 and the Mike Venezia Memorial Award in 1998. 2009 Hall of Fame inductee, Eddie Maple.